Hi, I'm Paul Atoll from paulatoll.com and I'm uh, going to show you that uh, the Red Alert uh, 2 is working on uh, macOS Catalina. Um, this counts for the CD version at the moment. Normally the Origin version was working as well, but uh, because uh, um, um, Origin dropped support for uh, the, the, the older version of, uh, of Origin, um, yeah, the Origin client isn't working uh, correctly at the moment uh, in Wine. So, um, yeah, at the moment uh, we need to do with uh, the CD version, or at better said, the DVD version of the, um, the first decade uh, DVD, which I added. Um, well, um, I have a an, uh, an, uh, portable CD-ROM uh, DVD uh, player uh, um, um, attached to my uh, to my Mac uh, using an, um, an USB-C uh, to USB uh, um, adapter and as you can see here uh, the DVD is um, um, mounted to uh, uh, to my Mac um, well first of all uh, my website as I mentioned um, and that includes of course porting kit and the porting kit, uh, the porting kit website is here, um, portingkit.com. Uh, HTTPS uh, portingkit.com. And if you go to uh, download, uh, you can here you see here the download porting kit um, 10.8 uh, plus. Uh, the legacy version we're gonna drop uh, because of Catalina and up. So we can keep supporting uh, the older builds. So, so download the 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 app, the Pony Kit app, and move it to uh, the apps application folder, and then open it. And then you can uh, open Pony Kit as you can see here. And then we're gonna go to Red Alert on the library tab. Uh, Red Alert. That's the database with all the games. As you can see here, it's updated because I added the, D the DVD source, here, CD DVD source. Um, so this works only for the first decade DVD because uh, everything is set with a path and stuff like that uh, to the first decade. Uh, here are also the instructions. Just click on uh, click on install if you've mounted the, the drive or the mounted the CD. Um, if you have the the, the ISO of the DVD, you can also mount it digitally and then it will work uh, as well. But I have the, the physical DVD, so uh, both work. But um, yeah, you have to choose. So I click Install Now, I click on Next, I accept. This will uh, download uh, the instructions of the installation. Uh, the cool thing is, is that um, in PortiKit we have said it that it automatic, uh, automatically recognizes the setup file from the DVD. So it will search the setup file from the DVD um, automatically. So uh, this means that you will uh, get pop up an, uh, an, um, uh, um, an installer a wizard, as you will see here. You will see it's a uh, executes my uh, my setup file perhaps you will hear also the DVD spinning in the background I click on next there's only one little bug here as you can see here this is uh, flashing a bit so you have to uh, type it in and then uh, yeah it's uh, it's a little bit more uh, <laughs> Intuitive. This is because of uh, PortiKit forces the um, the window, the install window in the front, and that's why this is causing it uh, in the serial part. So, um, well, I gonna enter it, and then, um, um, well, I will see you after entering uh, also the serial because uh, that uh, is uh, well part of your own. Uh, uh, legal uh, legal part so uh, I will uh, do pause here and then enter the serial and then um, I will be just back well that was the first part of the serial um, 
this uh, this box you have to click on custom because otherwise uh, um, you will install the complete uh, DVD uh, you have to only uh, this you have to just keep uh, the same um, uh, click on uh, well deselect all the packages here uh, here um, this is important also the Yuri uh, revenge um, uh, add-on is uh, not working at the moment because of uh, uh, the co the city copy protection so only the red alert 2 uh, main game is working um, if the origin client version is working again then you can play both uh, but um, yeah, in this case, uh, you can only uh, play uh, Red Alert 2. So you click on next. Yes, and then yeah, you get it shivering again to enter the serial. I will do here a pause as well to enter it. So you get uh, the next screen. Luckily, uh, this, uh, this is a one-time action only because uh, the shivering part and then entering the serial is quite uh, annoying. <laughs> so... Um, then click install. Well, this uh, this will take a little bit. So uh, this installation, uh, when it's done, then uh, I will be back. Well, the installation is finished now. Click on finished. And as you can see here, I'm going to register later, and then. Uh, you will get the message that is done. Everything is done complete. Uh, the cool thing is, is that uh, with the first decade version of the DVD, um, the um, uh, the DVD can uh, put out of the um, uh, the uh, player. So you don't have don't need to have the 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 DVD in the drive to uh, play the game. Um, if you have the first decade version, you can also uh, used to install uh, um, uh, Command and Conquer Renegade 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 this one so this one can also be installed with uh, the first decade uh, version um, yeah um, well let's go back to uh, uh, Red Alert uh, here is uh, Red Alert 2 and I can uh, click here on play and if you click on play then the game will start uh, I will do that and also start the game but uh, remember that uh, uh, the first time you start the game um, you get a forced intro so you cannot skip it so I cannot skip it as well if you run it for the first time so um, I will uh, let you uh, let uh, let it play the uh, the, the intro and then go uh, go to the menu yes so uh, I will uh, say goodbye here already and then um, enjoy the game and uh, see you back on portal the car bye bye okay let's click play This is Dugan. Mr. President, I'm afraid we have a heck of a situation down here. How bad could it be, Ben? According to NORAD, we've got Soviet aircraft coming out of small directions and ground troops pushing up through Mexico. I don't know how they snuck in on us. You better double check this with NORAD. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll call the Kremlin. Will do. Da, Premier Romanov here. What's going on over there, Alex? Why, Mr. President? Whatever do you mean? Alex, I... I have, um... You're throwing everything you've got at us, Alex. We're supposed to be allies, you maniac. I'm the one that put you into office. Listen! Very I am not your pet, Mr. President. We Romanovs have our legacy to consider. I don't give a wooden nickel about your legacy. You call them off. 
Alex? You called them off. You know, we'll retaliate. Oh, don't be so sure, Mr. President. Sir, verification? You betcha. Sweet mother. It's time to hit back. Make it happen. Yes, sir. This is General Carville. Soviet invasion confirmed. Execute Long Charter 010, Adam Delta Charlie. We have confirmation. Missiles prime. Arm! Missile command. Ten seconds to launch. Open the missile silos. Jerry, what? We have to open the silos, or they'll explode under... The silo doors are closed! This is suicide! Is it done, Yuri? No, Comrade Premier. It has only begun. Commander, good morning. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. The Soviet Navy is attacking the Statue of Liberty. We can't let them get away with that. Sir, is there anything you can do? Incoming transmission. Tanya here. Listen up. We got a couple commie dreadnoughts in the harbor. Looking for a special sightseeing tour of the Hudson River. I say we give him a very special view of the bottom first. Battle control online. Yeah, baby! Got Unit promoted. <laughs> Unit promoted. How about a target? Primary oh, objective baby. achieved. Oh, oh, oh. How about a target? Yeah, baby! On there. Incoming transmission. I offer special invitation to citizens of United States from the Great Soviet Union. It, See baby. your liberty. On my way. How she lies on, broken before on you. There. In but a there, moment's boss. time, your once powerful city of New York will follow in her footsteps. Battle control terminated.